Do you think that Russia will nuke the West? Oh my god, I, I think about that a lot. Will they nuke us? I don't think it'll go that far, but maybe they'll nuke their neighbors and then we would have to respond. Wouldn't that be like the end of like the world or something? Yeah. I, I don't think they'd that do that. Mass destruction? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they would... they're not suicidal. There's been a lot of talk about nuclear war with Russia. Do you think that Russia's Putin will nuke the West? Um, no, it's too dangerous. He know he'll be completely destroyed. It's just a threat. Putin is just bluffing. He has to bluff because that's all he has right now. You know, I've been following the whole Ukrainian war and it's, it's, he's, he's just about done. So there's been a lot of talk about nuclear war with Russia lately. Do you think that Russia will nuke the West? No, I don't think that nuclear war is, I don't know. I think it's all just because I really hope they don't. So I have to tell myself that they won't to get through the day. Do you think that Russia will nuke the West? I hope not. I don't think so as well. Do you think that Russia will nuke the West? Yeah, f the West. F the West. I don't, I don't like the West. I, actually, nah. Why is I like that? Utah. I like Utah and I like Oregon. And Washington's not bad. I just really don't f with California, I'm not gonna lie. Why is that? I don't know. I got I got boys out there like I I don't I'm gonna tell them before it gets nuked. Obviously, give them a heads up. Yeah, I'm gonna let them know like yo Russia's Russia's coming down on that shit. But nah, east side. Uh, I mean, okay, I don't know if it's just me being desensitized because I live in New York. Like I feel like we've had at least a couple of these. Like you know whether it's North Korea or whatever. And I mean, if it happens, it happens. What am I gonna do about it? <laughs> you know. Um, I think it's unlikely, but. Uh, definitely worth being worried about. Um, honestly, I would say I wouldn't be surprised, but I can't say yes or no. I literally have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. Yo, bro, man, we don't know, man. You know, there have been theories about Russia doing stuff that's doing, like, alien-type shit back in the day, so we will... I don't know, man, but that's scary, though. <laughs> do you think that Russia will nuke the West? It's a tough question. I think if they do, it's not going to be in the next two or three years. I think that there still needs to be some incline in terms of the political uh, relations between the America and, and uh, the Russian party, but I surely hope not. Basic instinct about any person is survival. That's true. And you'll do anything to survive, no matter what kind of animal you are. Survival is number one priority, and that's what he's trying to do now. And he'll threat nuclear, but he'll never do it because he know he will never survive. Since there might be a possibility, how does that make you feel? Scared. Uh, kind of scared, I guess. But um, yeah, I don't know. You're hopeful, though. Uh, very hopeful that that does not happen. Okay. But you know what, though? I think living in Canada, no, no, no offense, but I think we're we're safe over there, to be honest with you. Since it is a possibility, how does that make you feel? Ah, um, is it bad if I say like indifferent? I like I feel like at this point, if I'm ready for the apocalypse, I'm ready for the apocalypse. Like, <laughs> great mindset. Yeah, I was like, I'm I'm gonna survive, I guess. And if you were to get nuked within the next couple of seconds, how does that make you feel? I feel like there's more I'd want to do, you know. Like, I want a little bit of a heads up so I can at least go on a high speed or something. Since it is a possibility, how does that make you feel? Um, scared, I guess. Um, I don't know if it'll, I don't know if that will, like, affect me. I would think it would, but I don't really know. Oh, I guess you should be living every day to the fullest, but I don't know if we're doing that. <laughs> like, I don't look at it and don't think about it and just hope that it's not real, but it is. I hope that's wrong. Oh, it's like... When that happens, it's like what to do. It's like how to survive, where where to go when, cause you know you you're not gonna know where it's gonna it's gonna land at. But yeah, that's a hard question. I don't think New Yorkers New Yorkers not ready for that. They're not prepared, huh? We 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 more um, distracted by the uh, the New York lifestyle. You know, everybody in part of the part of the planet want to be in New York. We being distracted in New York. Yeah, so I don't think we ain't ready for it. And if there might be a possibility, how does that make you feel? I can't say it surprises me, um, but it makes me feel sad, I guess, because something that I, I think about a lot is, is why can't we just love each other? For me, I personally, like, I, I believe in Jesus. I'm a Christian. I believe in the faith. And so sharing love and sharing the peace and, and the joy of what I believe in to other people, even if they don't accept it or they don't believe in it, I still like sharing kindness and love and joy to other people regardless of what they believe in. And, and for me, being so deeply rooted in that, it's hard for me to look at that and, and not feel like grieved and sad. So 